Hello, my name is Cheyenne and welcome to another nail art tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to create these Santa-inspired French tips. For my base color, I'm using Orly's Uridol, which is a pink cream. I kind of wish I had used a nude. I do feel like using this pink color gave a strawberry shortcake vibe. Overall, I would say this polish is fine. It's pretty opaque. Uh, pastel pinks tend to be a little bit more on the sheer side. Depending on the nail, I did two to three coats. I have used this polish a few times now, so it is probably a little thicker than when I first got it, but I still think it is pretty liquidy. You'll need to be extra careful and wipe off any excess nail polish when you pull the brush out of the bottle. This might be a surprise, but this is my only Orly polish, and I am curious to try out more of their polishes because I like the rubber caps. It makes opening the bottles really easy. For the tips of my nails, I'm going to be using Island Peace Stopping Traffic. This is a red holographic polish, and I want to say, even though it doesn't say this in their product description, that it's a jelly because it has some sheerness to it. Like, it's not completely opaque, so you can see the layers of glitter in it. I'm going to paint a line down the middle tip of my nail and then across slightly below that where my natural nail line would be. This is going to serve as the foundation for my guide. I'm then creating an arch line from a little bit deeper into my nail bed to that guide at the top. Try to keep the distance into the nail bed consistent from nail to nail. In this case, I'm going about one fifth into my nail bed. I'm gonna be doing this on the left side as well. Honestly though, if this isn't perfect, that is totally fine. This is a great opportunity to practice doing a French tip manicure. Later, you'll be adding a white design around the edge of it, so any mistakes you make will probably be well hidden. When I first tested out doing this design, I did try to just do a straight line across the tip of my nail. I thought that'd be easier instead of making a curved shape, but it definitely didn't look as good. So I would recommend still trying to create a curve. I'm going in and I'm filling in the tip of my nail with the actual brush from the polish. And I really try to minimize how much polish I'm putting up there to, to avoid making it look lumpy and thick. Make sure to clean off any excess polish from the brush when you're pulling it out of the bottle. In this next step, you're gonna be adding these white dots around the edge of where the red meets the pink color of your nail. I tried out a few different styles for this and I recommend trying to make your dots as small as possible and kind of build that up as needed. I tried making uniformed big circles to start and it just looked a little messy. So I felt like using these smaller dots are way more dainty and cute. While I am adding dots on where the red meets the pink, I'm also adding some a little bit above and below where those two colors meet. I also thought that adding some rogue lonesome dots that weren't connected to the group added again a little bit of daintiness to it. I also tested out using Cirque's Snow Angel instead of putting white dots on and it just was too delicate, too hard to see. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Hand painting might just be the best option here. And since I tested out three different ways to do this so you don't have to, you might notice again that I have excess nail polish on my other hand because I just am <laughs> trying to wait to clean that up all at once just in case I wanted to take this all off again but I was pretty happy with how this turned out. I also want to mention another perk of doing these small dots versus larger dots is you could kind of go back and always add more as needed. So as you can see I'm kind of slowing down a little bit and I'm squinting at my design and figuring out like where does this seem too light in one area? Where does it feel too full or sparse? Like what do I need to do to complete this. So you could kind of eyeball it a little bit and just keep adding to it until you feel like you have reached the right level of fill that you wanted. 
To avoid making your dots too big, I do recommend cleaning off your dotting tool every once in a while just to get rid of any excess buildup. To just save some time, I'm going in with some clear coat and covering up those white dots. The reason I'm doing this is because sometimes if you don't let the polish dry long enough, it will become streaky when you do put your top coat on and kind of smear your design. I don't have this problem of streakiness from all of my polishes. I've noticed it's mainly with creams that this may happen, so just keep that in mind and maybe test out trying to do this if you know that your polish is prone to streaking. It would be a shame to ruin your design just as you're putting the top coat on. And speaking of which, I'm now going to be adding my final top coat. I'm using KB Shimmers clearly on top like I always do. I recently had to refill my bottle and if anyone's interested, I could show you how I do that. It's not really that complex. It's really easy, but I know some people are worried about their brushes getting damaged in the process. So I can show you just how quick that can be. I think I ended up doing this manicure in about maybe an hour and 45 minutes. Let me know what you think. I upload videos every Saturday. See you all next time. Bye.